In this video, I'll show you how to connect and how to use a USB hub with your iPad Air 6th generation. The iPad Air 6th generation has a USB Type-C port right over here. So if your USB hub has a USB Type-A port like this one over here, well, this will not work natively. You'll need an adapter. I'll put a link in the description towards the Apple adapter that works very well if you want to convert one of these into something that works with your iPad. This over here is actually a USB type C dock or USB hub. So I can simply connect it directly into the USB port of my iPad. Once you connect it, nothing will really happen. You need to connect devices into the um, hub. In my case, I have two things. I have this card reader that I'll plug in one of these USB ports and I have a USB stick. Okay, great. Once these are connected on the iPad, you need to go into the files app. It's pre-installed with your iPad. You do not need to download it. Open it. And then on this side over here, where you see locations, you're going to have all the devices that are connected to your hub. Right now, I'm only seeing my USB stick. I'm not seeing this um, card reader. If this is the case, if you only see one of the things or something is missing, disconnect it and try reconnecting it. Like that. And now something appeared on my iPad and I can see all the devices. So over here I have my USB stick and over here I have my card, my uh, SD card. And you can have multiple ones, they are all going to be in this list. If you ever want to transfer something that is connected um, to your USB hub to the internal memory of your iPad, it's very easy. Uh, go in the folder or the place where that thing is, the file or video is, click on select, select the files you want to transfer, then click on more, select copy, go on my iPad on the left side, this is the internal memory of your iPad, long press anywhere on the screen where it's white, and then you can paste um, the files. Now I'm just pasting them again because I did this in another video, so I will uh, keep both. And they will be added over here. Once you're done using the USB hub, you do not need to eject it like on a Mac PC or stuff like that. Simply need to unplug it. And you see the devices will disappear over here on the left. It's very important to know that this iPad is not able to format any drives that you connect that are not compatible with it. An iPad is compatible with multiple formats, including APFS, APFS encrypted, Mac OS extended, XFAT, which is FAT64, FAT32, and FAT. It will not read any other formats. You'll need a PC or a Mac to format first your drive so that the iPad can see it. If you want to get a USB hub uh, from Amazon, I'll leave links in the description. If not, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.